the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire host, 62, closed his popular store amid the backlash he received after his controversial comments about Meghan Markle, which were published in Jeremy Clarkson's weekly newspaper column. The comments condemning the Duchess of Sussex received backlash on an international scale, with the former Top Gear presenter writing to the Duke of Sussex offering an apology for the attack on his wife's character. Due to the universal outrage Jeremy received, the star decided to close his shop. But it has since emerged that the presenter has reopened the store to coincide with the launch of the second series of his Amazon Prime video show Clarkson's Farm. However, it has been reported that visitor numbers were visibly down from the amount of customers Jeremy had attracted prior to the scandal. According to an SWNS report, just 14 visitors formed a small queue this morning at the store. There were no long queues and there was no disruption to traffic in the village in which the farm shop is based. This is a high contrast to when the village was teeming with people who flooded the area last year and caused mayhem by obstructing the local traffic. It has also been reported that the shop has been hit by the cost of living crisis and has increased prices rapidly in the last two years with a box of eggs costing a whopping £3.20. The comments directed at Meghan Markle included the presenter's hatred of the Duchess and the wish to see her humiliated, paraded naked in the streets, and pelted with excrement. The controversial comments were widely criticized with even his daughter speaking out against her father. Taking to Instagram, Emily Clarkson said, I want to make it clear that I stand against everything my father wrote about Meghan Markle. She added, I remain standing in support of those that are targeted with online hatred. Celebrities and politicians also joined together in their condemnation of the presenter's comments, with many calling for the star to be sacked from his role on the hit ITV quiz show. Clarkson described his language as disgraceful and admitted he was profoundly sorry. The Sun also issued an apology about the column, which was removed online. The Duke and Duchess refused to accept Jeremy's apology and issued a withering statement that implied that Clarkson was guilty of bullying Meghan Markle in the past. In a response to the apology, they wrote, unless each of his other pieces were also written, in a hurry, as he states, it is clear that this is not an isolated incident shared in haste but rather a series of articles shared in hate, the couple said in a joint statement. Following the public outcry, it was announced that Jeremy's column will be investigated by the press complaints regulator Ipso. The organization received more than 25,100 complaints and to date, it has been the most complained article ever. The complaints claimed that Clarkson's article breached Clause 1, Accuracy, Clause 3, Harassment, and Clause 12, Discrimination, of the Ipso Code of Conduct.